So let's discuss about simple harmonic motion or SHM. SHM means simple harmonic motion. For that, let us consider a spring. A spring. One end of the spring is attached to a fixed point and the other end to a mass M. Let this position, that is without stretching the spring, the mass be at the mean position. Or this line represents the mean position of the mass. Now what will happen if you stretch the, stretch the spring like this? That is, you just displaced this mass from the mean. This line represents the mean position. You just display the, displaced the mass to a new distance x. So what will happen here? The moment you released, release this mass, a restoring force will come into play, which will bring this mass back to the main position. Since this mass is restored to this main position, this force is called the restoring force. Restoring force. Clear. Now, actually this mass will oscillate about this main position, but anyway, this force will bring this mass back to the main position. Now what will happen if you displace this mass more? That is, if you displace this mass to a new position, that is if you increased the displacement. Now the x is increased. Also, you observe that now the force, the moment you release this mass, a force will come into play, but this will bring this mass quickly. The more you stretch, the more will be the amount of force. You can observe that. If you extend the spring to a great extension, then it will bring the mass quickly to the main position. So clearly, this force, the, if you increase the displacement, force is also increasing, which means force is directly proportional to displacement. Remember, force is restoring force. Clear, but you are displacing this mass towards right. Clear that you are stretching the mass to the right, and the restoring force is bringing the mass back back to the mean position. Or restoring force acts in the direction opposite to that of displacement. In mathematics, if these two if two physical quantities are in opposite direction, then you have to put a minus sign. Clear. So this can be written as F equal to, if you remove the proportionality, F equal to minus Kx. Let's call that as equation number one. Since the displacement is towards right and the force is towards left, that's why I put minus sign. Clear. Now, from the Newton's law of motion, Newton's law, we have the force F is equal to m times a mass into acceleration. This is from Newton's law. Newton's law. Also, acceleration, you know that the rate of change of velocity or dv by dt. Also, v equal to dx by dt, rate of change of displacement velocity. So, instead of V, you can write D by DT of, instead of V, you can write DX by DT. DX by DT. So, this is the double derivative and the value will be D square X by DT square. So, acceleration will be D square X by DT square. And if you put the value of A in here, you have force is equal to M into A, A is d square x by dt square. Clear. Let's call that as equation number 2. Now, if you look at the equation 1 and 2, they both same about the amount of force. Here it is restoring force, which means equation 1 is equal to equation, equation 2. Therefore, you can write m d square x by dt square is equal to minus kx. Or if you take the m to the right, you have d square x by dt square 
is equal to minus kx by m. Also, if you take the all the terms to the left, you will get you will get d square x by dt square plus this will be plus k you can write this as k by m x is equal to 0 and if you replace this k by m I'm just erasing this you can assume let this k by m value of k a k by m let that be some omega square so that this equation will become d square x by dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0 because this k by m is equal to omega square or you can write omega is equal to or this implies omega equal to root of k by m clear so this equation let's name that as equation number three this equation is called the, the differential equation of differential equation of simple harmonic motion or SHL. Now for every differential equation there is a solution that is you have to find the value of x. So I'm just erasing this and write this differential equation again. We have t square x by dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0. This is the differential equation of SHL. Now you have to find the x. Since, since this is a simple differential equation, differential equation, what you have to do is you only have to put the value of x to some values and you can check whether that value satisfies this equation or not. For example, let's take let x equal to just take a cos omega t a cos omega t plus phi 0 i just took a random value for x x is equal to if a stands for amplitude we'll discuss that later just take x equal to a cos omega t plus phi 0 now if you substitute this value of x in here and if that satisfies this equation then clearly x is a solution now let's check x is equal to a cos omega t therefore omega t plus phi 0 therefore dx by dt will be d by dt of a cos omega t plus phi 0 this a is a constant you can take that out a into cos derivative of cos is minus sign so minus sign minus sign omega t plus phi 0 into you know the derivative of sin omega t plus uh, sorry cos omega t plus phi 0 you have to put that multiply that with omega okay since d by dx of cos ax will be minus sin ax into a clear Therefore, this will be a times minus sin omega t plus phi 0 into omega. So, this will be you can take this omega to the left a omega sin omega t plus phi 0. So, this is dx by dt. Now, t square x by dt square will be you have to again derive this equation that is d by dt of minus a omega sin omega t plus phi 0 so that will be this a and omega is constant therefore t square x by dt square will be minus a omega now the derivative of sin is cos cos omega t plus phi 0 and you have to multiply it with omega omega so this will be minus a omega square cos omega t plus phi 0 
clear now you just substitute all these values in here so this d square x by dt square is minus a omega square cos omega t plus phi 0 plus this omega square x means omega square into x x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi 0 clear so this is equal to minus a omega square cos omega t plus phi 0 plus this is equal to a omega square cos omega t plus phi 0 so they are they both are the same and opposite so this will get cancelled and its value will be 0 so definitely x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi 0 is a solution of the differential equation is the solution of the differential equation so you can say the solution of differential equation this differential equation is x is equal to x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi 0 x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi 0 is the solution of this differential equation or this a stands for amplitude 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 means the maximum displacement omega the angular frequency angular frequency this t stands for the time and phi 0 the initial phase initial phase because more in most cases uh, the motion doesn't starts from the origin or from the main position so there is always a the, there is always a initial phase clear so this is the expression for the displacement x now we have we have the differential equation d square x by dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0 and we have the displacement x is or the solution of this differential equation a cos omega t plus phi 0 now how will you find the velocity of a section velocity velocity v velocity of a section v you know velocity equal to dx by dt derivative of displacement gives the velocity which is equal to d by dt of and you know x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi 0 on deriving this you will get this is equal to a is constant derivative of cos is minus sine omega t plus phi 0 now you have to put n omega so this is equal to minus omega a you can take this omega to the left minus omega a sine omega t plus phi 0 clear and this can be represented as minus omega root of if you bring these two quantities inside the root you it will be a square sine square omega t plus phi 0 clear this is equal to minus omega root of a square and you know sine square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta that is cos square omega t plus phi 0 and you can take this a into the bracket minus omega root of a square minus a square cos square omega t plus phi 0 so this can be written as equal to minus omega root of a square minus you can write this as a cos omega t plus phi 0 whole square clear this is equal to minus omega root of 
a square minus but you know this one equal to x clear so x square so velocity is equal to minus omega root of a square minus x square so this is the velocity of shm now we have to find the acceleration of shm we have acceleration a is equal to d square x by dt square that is you have to derive this two times so first dx by dt is equal to d by dt of x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi zero. So if you derive this, it will be a into, you can take this a of derivative of cos is minus sine, minus sine omega t plus phi zero times omega. So that will be minus omega a sine omega t plus phi zero. So that's the dx by dt or you can say that as velocity and acceleration will be d square x by dt square that is you have to derive this again that is d by dt of this one again minus omega a or this is equal to db by dt you can write that also you have to derive the velocity minus omega a sine omega t plus phi zero so this minus omega is constant minus omega a derivative of sine is cos cos omega t plus phi zero into you have to put the omega which means minus omega square a omega times omega equal to omega square a cos omega t plus phi zero so that's the acceleration but you know this one this is equal to x clear that is the displacement therefore acceleration is equal to minus omega square this one is this whole thing is x so minus omega square x so that's the acceleration of s clear